Hi all, uh, welcome to my channel, The Creative Agile IT. So as part of today's video, I'm going to share uh, lead time and cycle time metrics. What exactly is lead time? What is cycle time? And how we can calculate these two metrics in Jira by using the control chart. So we will understand what's the configuration of control chart, uh, how we can interpret a control chart for a given Kanban board. So that will be the agenda, understanding the lead time and cycle time metrics using Jira control chart. So let us start. So I am sharing a Jira app on cloud and I have logged in using my credentials. And these are some of the Jira projects that I have created for my past Jira videos on the channel. So for today's video, I'm going to utilize this particular one, Kanban metrics, which I have created uh, weeks back. So I will simply click on this particular project and uh, first we will understand what kind of project it is. So let me just click on the project settings by clicking on the three dots against the name. And if I click on the project settings, maybe in a new tab, so it will open the settings for me. And uh, we can see on the left navigation, we have the details. So this is the name of the project. This has, is the key which is automatically assigned during the project creation and uh, this is the creative learning my credentials and if i click on the summary so this is this particular project is using kanban template so we can see this is kanban issue type scheme and these are the types which are available we have a bug epic story subtask and task so i will close this particular view and i will go back to the project so we can see like uh, this particular project is using the new Jira navigation, which is summary, timeline, Kanban board, calendar reports, and others. So this is the Kanban board, which I have designed for this particular video. And uh, it consists of five columns or five stages, we can call it. We have a backlog, which means, you know, any new request, any new work item, any new user story, any new ticket first arrives in a backlog. That means it's a kind of a to-do list for the team. And when the team selects any of the top priority items from the backlog, they will simply pull it from the backlog to the selected for development. And then uh, when anyone on the team starts like working on that particular item, they will mark it as in progress. When the development is done, they will pass it to the QA. And once the QA is also passed, it is kind of like done. So done here means like the development done as well as you know done here means the you know the release has happened. So I will show an example like uh, currently shows like three stories are done and we can see, you know, they are striked out. But I mean, I also have one release configured. So if I click on the more and click on the releases in a new tab, so it will open the releases. So right now on release is selected, uh, selected. So if I click on released, so uh, this is how it will show me. It is showing like release one is there. That's the version. It shows like it is released and there's a release date. Though I haven't configured the build and deployment pipelines. I mean, it is just to show some example how we can create the release. And if I click on this release one, it shows me these are the three work items or user story which are part of this particular release. So we have one, five, and eight. These are the keys, user login, forward username, and dev environment setup and they are part of this particular board. Now, in order to understand what exactly is the lead time and cycle time, so first start with the lead time. So lead time is uh, when a new request comes and uh, how much time it takes to get to the done. So that means in our board example, the journey from backlog to the done. So that's, uh, that is our lead time. And when someone actually starts working on a particular request, be it a work item, ticket, or user story, whatever we call it, that means, you know, in our board, that's the select for development till the done. So that becomes our cycle time. So lead time is uh, when the request is first created or when, when the request is first made till the time it is completely done. And cycle time is when someone actively starts working on our request till the time it is done. And we can look at, uh, you know, a lead time and cycle time from a practical scenarios as well. So as a customers, like, you know, if uh, we have placed any order on an online portal, so as soon as we have placed an order, that means a request has been generated. So the lead time starts kicking. And when someone from the back end, uh, any, any person from the portal, any, any employee starts working on our request by validating our order, 
ensuring that it is correct and ensuring the items are available and then ensuring that you know the delivery happens that means you know closing the request that that uh, overall time involves as a cycle time so now how do we know like what exactly is the lead time and cycle time for this particular kanban board so what we will have to do we will have to see this particular reports and all we can do is we can click on this and open in a new tab and we will utilize one particular report that is called control chart so if i click on the control chart it opens and uh, this is what it will show there are some filters which are available as part of the control chart we have a time scale we have a refined report and some viewing option so for time scale like i said you know this particular project i have just prepared for this a video so we do not have some like a week back or something like that but but i mean in your respective team if you are using your board for let's say past two weeks month or three months so feel free to select the appropriate time frame for which you want to generate this particular control chart for my board purpose i am selecting the date when i started this particular board and uh, today is 2nd of june and now refine report is the most important one so it consists of you know uh, on the columns uh, we can see you know it is giving us five columns and if we look at our kanban board it consists of five columns only we have the very first column as backlog second one is selected for development third one is in progress fourth is qa and fifth is done and here also we have these five columns now in order to uh, kind of like let's say we want to look at the lead time so lead time what we have understood is is the journey from backlog till the done so that's how we have selected all the necessary states now do we have any swimlanes in our board so we do not have any swimlanes but in your respective boards if you have the swimlane you can select the particular swimlane as well so i will keep it as a default one similarly for the quick filters as well and if you look at you know based on this uh, what exactly is our lead time so our lead time is basically an average which is around two days and uh, this is our median one day and 23 hours and uh, this particular one is uh, the minimum time it takes for a particular issue in resolving so that uh, in our board is three hours and 16 minutes and the maximum time it takes for an issue to resolve is four days and for this particular duration it is considered 15 issues um, in the overall board and uh, there should not be much difference between average and median if there is a too much of difference that means you know we have some outliers we really have to investigate okay what exactly is the reason for a particular issue taking too much of time and uh, these are some of the indicators in our control chart so empty circle represents an issue the fill circle represents the cluster of issues then we have red line as an average blue line as a rolling average which is five issues per window and then we have the uh, this particular area as a standard deviation so if i look at i mean the x-axis represents the dates the timeline and the y-axis represents the less time or days and this is our average so we have seen that you know our lead time is coming as two days that means you know it takes around two days of time for a particular ticket or work item or a story in our board from backlog till it gets done and uh, we can see you know there is not much difference i mean if we see the outlier so what are the outliers anything which is lying outside the area so we see that you know this red line is our average the blue line is our rolling average this area is the standard deviation and these are called the outliers so i mean if we have any ticket which is lying maybe like five days here uh, on this particular line or about six days so those are the issues which are uh, meant to be investigated like why those issues are taking more time but here i think uh, if i click on this particular issue so it will show okay user login uh, the overall time was two minutes on backlog less than one minute on selected for development in progress it is spent this much of time and that's the overall cycle time it has similarly if i click on any of the clustered one or this one so it shows like two issues and we can always click on view on issue navigator and we will see okay what are those two issues so it will it is showing okay dev environment setup like this is the one this is done and this is also done so basically it will show the cluster of those issues those two issues were kind, kind of like simultaneously uh, moved from one column to the other column so this is our lead time and remember like lead time is from backlog till done so i think it is going to be more when it compares to the cycle time now let us see the select 
cycle time so for cycle time we will simply deselect the backlog and we will say give us the time from selected for development till done so if you look at that so our cycle time is around one day and 12 hours where median is around one day and three hours so we can see uh, there is slight difference but it is not that much that you know we should be worried about but i mean we can definitely look at you know these outliers like uh, okay for this particular one the cycle time was three days two hours and 50 minutes which is slightly high compared to the average one so we can investigate this particular issue like why it took like more time and again i mean uh, when it comes to the control chart and its interpretation there are some advanced topic as well but i mean this is like uh, a very basic video understanding how we can calculate the lead time and cycle time for our respective teams who are using the kanban board uh, and uh, use these kind of metrics so uh, this is what it is coming uh, the cycle time and uh, yeah i mean i think for a simple case i think uh, that's pretty much um, and uh, i hope you guys like today's video like i was preparing the data for this particular uh, video for uh, last five or six days so please do share and subscribe my channel and thank you so much for watching this video thank you